the snowfall continues. Got some adding up yet again. I've had to borrow a friend's loader a couple of times and push it back and pile it up and clean around the shop here. But I figure with as much snow as we got and a few people have been wanting to see some of this kind of content, we'll dig out the old sleds. And by dig out, I really mean dig out. They're under a lean-to. But we got a lot of uh, shoveling to do here. Got the first one excavated here. The good old trusty 1992 Yamaha Bravo 250 single cylinder. She usually fires right up after multiple pulls on the rope. Of course, it has been sitting since last winter. Got the Olympic there next. The Tundra is probably going to stay. I don't feel like messing with it, and I don't feel like all that digging. But anyhow, she's still co covered in pollen from the summer before I covered them up. Primer is usually dry where it's been sitting this long. Oh, no, it's not, surprisingly. Give it some choke there. Work her around slow first. Throttle's free. I know it's deciding to leak up here. priming action it should go eventually Gotta love it.
right, well, let's go uncover sled number two. And here we've got the 1970 Skidoo Olympic. Can't remember if I siphoned the gas out of it or not for something else. Probably. Oh no, she's got gas. We are gonna need some priming gas to shoot into the car because these things are an absolute bear to get going for the first time of the year. So we'll go get some gas and uh, hopefully she fires up and stays running. I know the last sled video I made, we couldn't get this one to stay running, but we're gonna try it anyway. So we'll get set up here. All right, we got some gas. Put this down here because it likes to drip out. Well, the points aren't corroded.
Just a neat old sled. There, that was fun. Got two of the old sleds up and going and tore up the fresh snow, so that's always a good time. The Bravo's never-ending reliability never fails. Good to be on that thing again. And the Olympic, good to have that out since I didn't get to last winter. Once you uh, prime it up and keep it fed off the, the squirt bottle, it'll pick up fuel and then doesn't do too bad, but you know, they're both work in progress type things here and there, so always room to improve. They both need windshields really bad, but oh well. This sled, if you know anything about old Olympics, this one has a 299 Rotax in it. Originally came with a 335 electric start, which was no good when I bought the sled, so I rebuilt that 299 and threw it in there. And it doesn't do too bad, runs pretty good. Still need to uh, get a headlight in there, but she's neat. Definitely the right vintage for my stuff. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Definitely appreciate it. And uh, be sure to let me know if you like this kind of stuff and want to see more of the Sled's ripping around. It's pretty fun, so I don't mind doing it. So, till the next uh, great adventure, I'll see you guys later.